Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria. I'm Par and uh, I'll be playing Simlock today. It is time. It is time to produce some copper plates right here. Because I have a feeling that this build is unable to keep up with uh, copper production. I think so. I, I think it's not able to keep up. And you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, why don't we just copy this part, right? Because if we copy all of this and manage to place it here, that would be like a super, super uh, simple way of uh, producing a lot of uh, copper. Yeah, why don't I do this? Uh, let's see. So initially I wanted to have smelters here and uh, sorry, furnaces below, uh, blast furnaces below and uh, induction furnaces on the right. And the alternative, let's see, the alternative is to somehow have... The alternative is to deliver ingots here separately, in which case we could double this part. Oh, you know, this might be better. It might be better to double the amount of uh, induction furnaces here and to have lots of smelters here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to measure this part, to be honest. I want to measure it. So, here we have <coughs> production of 120 copper per second, maybe. When we have stereotype, that is. Right? We needed 30, we have 30. So we have 120 copper here. Nice. Now, let's take this copper and produce copper plates from those. And we'll be using this process. I'm not ready yet to switch to coils, even though it might be a good idea. Uh, let's not have coils for now. Let's um, just design everything with uh, plates and then later on we'll uh, switch it to coils when the actual uh, uh, load will be pretty high. Let's see, we cannot really build so many, to be honest. So I want to use this process. I don't want to use the uh, consumer for acid for that. Let's see. So it would require 80 copper. So we actually don't really have a lot of uh, options here, right? Because how many of Let, let's let's check something out. Uh, let's say I'm removing this one. How many of the furnaces are we able to place? That's the question that I have. That's the main question. How many can we place here? And whether we can place like a couple of them, because if we had, if we were able to place, let's say, a couple, that would have been a bit better, I think. But with this design, um, no designs. Plus furnaces are here, and we do not have our processor too. So with this design, we are able to fit. Uh, I don't know, let's say, how many is that? Able to fit nine, only nine, that's not a lot. Able to fit only nine furnaces, and we kinda need, well, we need 13. You know, it's not that bad. It's not actually that bad, because we can maybe fit 10 furnaces actually here, if you move it. Uh, like this, maybe, we can take it and place it here, almost, right, it's one tile off, so let's move it back by one tile, like this, and uh, the problem here is that, let's see, 10, right, so we need to reduce it to, let's say, 19, maybe, 90 
Wait, exactly 10 glass furnaces. So that's exactly two belts of copper. Right? This is looking very, very doable. Like, two belts of copper shouldn't really be problematic. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can also remove this once, maybe. And uh, what I was thinking is that we could actually deliver copper here, right in the middle, like right between this, uh, uh, basically right here. And deliver it right here, and it should kind of work more or less. At least I'd expect it to work. Nice, so we can have copper coming here, and it will be feeding these furnaces. With the furnaces fed, the thing that you'd be missing, we're kind of missing two things now. We are missing a little bit of oxygen, and we are missing this belt with uh, the. No, we want to take stuff from the belt like this and place like fit the furnace. That's the idea. Let's do this. Let's say we have something like this. This will be moved a little bit. And we want a red belt. We don't actually need a red belt here, but we can have it. It's, it's going to be fine with a red belt. So this is our um, our charcoal that we'll be using for feeding them for feeding them feeding the furnaces. One thing that we are missing, we are missing some oxygen, but we do have some space here. So I was kind of thinking about uh, just uh, uh, getting, you know, we could get the ore here, like this. Uh, maybe red one, actually. I, I kind of want to have all of them red, so I don't... I, I, I think I should switch, actually, all of this... Uh, Things to the red one, just to make it a little bit uh, easier to look at and to do things. At the same time, I, I'm not really using uh, this a lot, like this tool belt or whatever the name of the thing. I'm using it a little bit, but I'm copying using Q from uh, surrounding area. Okay, I'm copying things a lot as well. Um, right, let's take a look. So this will produce, this will give us three belts of uh, copper ingots. And not two. How do we get three belts? From nine, uh, oh wait, it's from ten. From ten plus furnaces. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to figure this out, <laughs> I think. We will have to figure this out, how to get three belts. Um, Alright, I know. I know how to, do it, how to do it. We can take this thing and we can move it by one, two. So we moved it a little bit away. Right. And now we have kind of three and a half. those things yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. right the question would be how to smelt all of this we can bring two belts of uh, stuff here of copper We'll bring it here. And something is not working in the base. There is a problem with cratinium. Again, cratinium again. It's always cratinium. We are producing some of uh, stereotype. 
Здесь синкретиниум. 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 Nice. So, the base is working. It's doing something. It is doing something. Now, we need to make this part a little bit better. So, what I was thinking, we don't really have to have loaders here, right? We can just have maybe a stack inserter or something. Maybe that would be enough. Or even a regular, a regular inserter, I'm not so sure about it. How much do we need? We need 20 induction furnaces, meaning that we need 10 of these things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 can have 12. We will not actually be able to get 10. Um, that's a tiny problem, to be honest. And I want to have better inserters here. I do. So that's a tiny problem. How do we load stuff in 12, uh, sorry, not in 12, and 24. I think I'll have to reduce it to like 60. No. 50. 54. Right? I guess I'll have to do it like this, and we'll have on the 12. Oh no! I, I, I'm wrong. We had enough. Sorry, we had enough. Because we need 20, that means we need 10 on each side, but we actually have 12 on this side, right? We have a little bit more here. Um, so, what should we do? How should we do this? Let's remove this part. We can use the space uh, to produce oxygen, because we kind of need oxygen. And let's... Uh, I'll do something I don't know, something like this maybe. We want to have we want to have two lines, right? Let's see. One line, two lines, and we should be able to hit the output. Because we have no wait, we have three lines as the input. So the output should also be three lines. Let's take a look. We have 20, and we want to... Kind of merge all of this into three lines of output. And we even have barely enough space to do that. Like, we literally have, like, barely enough space. It'll be using inserters for that, I think. I I feel that's the way. Uh, how should we take this part? I think this is the way. I like this one a little bit better than what we had initially, and what we started with. Basically, I want to have these connections everywhere. I don't want this one. This one is not needed. Not needed. Not needed. This one is needed. Right, so this is the way things are connected. We need to send... Um, this thing will be sent there. We will have a very, very similar setup here. So this is one, two, three, and something. One, two, let's say three. And we'll be sending it to the left. It's the idea. Here, we'll do the same. We'll send stuff to the left. And hopefully, this should uh, fill the belt fully. And now the remaining part 
Is it just? No, it's kind of the same. Okay, let's do this. Open this one, this one, this one. Nice. And it will go there. Somewhere. I will figure this out. We'll figure that part out. Now, one thing that I kind of want to happen here. I want... So the output priority should go, should go there. Here, I want it to prioritize taking things like... The, not output priority, I want to prioritize taking stuff from here so that we have a little bit of uh, like so that the demand can be not exactly stalled but we want we do not want occasional resources that might be pushed here to prevent this furnaces from outputting whatever they are doing right and that means that we need to make sure that these resources are always consumed. I'm not actually sure whether it's uh, gonna work the way I want it to work. <laughs> but uh, we'll see, we'll see. And also... Also we want to send like half of this belt here. Actually, have sound like half here to be honest. I do not do it here. Right? We could just send half of the belt over there. Right, and we can balance the things a little bit better. And we'll balance them a little bit better here as well. Not that it really matters. Like, I don't think uh, these balancers will actually be doing anything. Maybe I will do it a little bit closer here to this part. Let's see. How will our output look like? We'll have one belt going here. And we'll need to it with some materials. Let's see. The output is 90 copper plates. That means that if you look at 4, which is 1 fifth, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1 fifth of the build. This 1 fifth of the build has 90 divided by 5, which is um, 18, right? Am I correct? No, it cannot be. 90 divided by 5. It is 18. I cannot believe we are producing. No, cannot be. 18. Wait for induction furnaces half of this. No, that's correct. Wow. Interesting. And in order to fill one belt, we need uh, 20 custom machines and slightly more than 6 induction furnaces. That means that... Um, this part will be kind of tricky because we want... To fill it as much as we can. So we can do it like this. However, it will not be enough. We'll actually have some excess, and we can get the success and pull it up. Yeah, I feel like that's the way. I feel like this is the way we will have to do it. The only problem is that this thing will be a little bit imbalanced in terms of the sides of the belt, 
load him. That's not ideal. Um, how can we fix it? Or should we fix it? You know what? I'll probably fix it later once we actually observe and see the problem. But the output I feel will be slightly less than 90 because this particular part, like not this one, this will be able to load everything fully. But this one will have a problem. We can actually fix it right now. In order to fix it, we just need to make sure that uh, a couple of these have a slightly better way of placing things on a belt. And it probably needs to be like this side, the one that is clo closer to the output. We just want to make sure that, because this belt, it will have priority from the left side. That means that the right side will be full. That means that this actually inserters will not be able to properly fill it up. And in order for this to work correctly, we need to add a couple of uh, inserters to help with that. Let's make this uh, place things on the close side of the belt. It's closer, 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 and we'll kind of have to adjust it a little bit. This closer side of the belt, this one is the other side of the belt. Right. Okay, now the only thing I need to do, I need to move, rotate this part a little bit, and it should work. It should work correctly. We can also do the same thing here, actually, here, here, this one, let's turn it, and this one. a little bit easier. We can also change this part just a tiny bit. Okay, this thing is placing stuff there to the lower side and this one is placing things here. Nice. So now I feel like uh, it should work the way we want it to work. And there shouldn't be any problems with the uh, loading of this uh, belt. Let's press it. Let's say we have red belt here and here. And we just need to uh, add some stuff to it, right? Easy. Nice. And we'll do the same thing over there. Exactly the same thing. One, two, three, four. And... Uh, here we have it. We have three belts of plates coming out. And we have uh, some plates here. Are we still experiencing issues with titanium? No, we have almost enough titanium. Right, let's proceed. Let's request well, first of all, let's turn these things. We are producing four belts. Going for 90, right? And I want to get half of this and move it here. So I want half of the belts. Let's do this. How do I get half of the belts? Okay, one, two, something like this, right? Uh, should work. Hopefully. So the idea is that. I will use this balancer to shift things to the right and this one also to kind of move everything to the right 
the problem is that um, the way it is now we'll have a tiny issue with the uh, with loading the output we will still have a problem with the output to be honest mm, unless we pull about here and like split it we cannot even split it here nicely we can if we move this thing by one to the side let's do it i'm trying to figure out how to better organize everything here so that we can load the output back right so we have two belts coming here and uh, we will want to yeah we want to do something here Something like this, nice. Now, this one, I want to put it to the right, to the right. And here I want to do the same, to the, to the right, to the right. This should move lots of copper ore here. We want to request charcoal. This part requires almost no charcoal, so it shouldn't be a problem, like the fact that we are requesting it. It should be fine. Let's request a lot of uh, charcoal, right? The way we like to do that. And we'll feed it. Well, wait, 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 not here. This is the charcoal. Right. One thing that's missing here is the power. So we can have uh, power provided like this. Okay, the priority is here. This is good. Now we're just missing a little bit. We, we are not even missing them actually. Interesting. We just need to have them delivered. Yeah. And we could have. Done like this. Okay, nice. And one thing that will be missing, we need one extra belt. Let's say the middle one. Hmm. How should we do it? I want to say that this belt... No. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Let's not do this. It's it the way it was initially. I want it to be hit like this, and this one. I guess I want it to be done like this. And this part, I just wanted to be pulled there, I think. Right, let's observe. Let's say we are moving this thing here, here, and we want to have a splitter that equally splits these things between uh, we, we can have the split a little bit further here right we'll have a splitter that equally splits things between two uh, sides right let's do this um, Let's say this is going to the side here, and we need to move these resources somewhere here, I'd say. Okay. And that's our build. And it should be working just fine. Uh, we might need to add a couple of... Uh, uh, connections here. I don't know. Could have this connection and uh, kind of on this connection, I think. And I want these two connections as well. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. Nice. So we can say that all of this is looking at 
or even though in reality this three are looking at the sorry uh, at, at the plates right i didn't misspoke for a moment i thought that i misspoke i said so plates instead, uh, instead the or or ingots but no i said everything correctly <laughs> yay talking is hard it is difficult let's uh, connect this part so let's observe what's uh, going on here we have some copper that we want to deliver here Wait. this is our copper this is our copper ore we are getting it delivered we are not gonna balance between the sides because uh, each of them should provide more like way more than a full belt of uh, copper ore so we don't need the balancer here what we might want to do we might want to improve these inserters because i just don't want to use yellow inserters anymore for anything yeah i just don't want them no yellow inserters from now on all right here what is actually happening we have charcoal this has charcoal filter set up it will go here it will be feeding all of this we are missing something we are missing something and that something is oxygen let's produce oxygen from our favorite oxygen build right we will have seven air filters wow that is a lot do we have uh, enough space for seven of them how many are here look at this exactly seven air filters isn't it awesome so now the question is how to fit the spot hmm Okay. How should we do this? If you place this thing, we will not have enough space. Ah, uh, you know what? We kinda do have enough space, to be honest. It's okay. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it like this. One. Say two. Three, right? I'm just trying to... You know, match these things and we have uh, some space we need space for four of this so we could have one here one two three four it might not be ideal you know but if it works it works right oxygen we could honestly just directly connect it uh, to this part of the build we have a direct connection of oxygen and now the only thing that uh, uh, kind of remains is uh, dealing with uh, nitrogen and this honestly shouldn't be that hard we will be unable to easily connect nitrogen there but we can connect it here right we have nitrogen connection and we need to fly it using uh, two player stacks. Okay, let's uh, build these things. Let's maybe add a couple of power poles. Where would we add them? Um, it's a bit uh, strange what exactly is going on here. One, no. Place it here. One, two. Three. So something like this. We have connection to the power network. It doesn't cover this one, unfortunately. Okay, that's okay. We covered all of them. It should work now. The only thing that's missing is something to void the flare the nitrogen. How should we flare nitrogen? We could add two flare stacks here. We need uh, to flare 
225 nitrogen and um, I have a feeling Alright, we can fly to 200 with one fast tag. So we'll be using two fast tags. And uh, with that, it should just work. It should work as soon as power poles are delivered here and, you know, the pipes are placed. It will happen soon. <laughs> really, really soon. Let's observe. So what I'm really interested, I'm actually interested in how these things will be consumed. Because the way I want it to happen, I want it to kind of prioritize input from the outer side, the belt that is supposed to be full. So that this prioritization doesn't try to send too much and to block it. Like, we don't want stuff to get blocked here. What we do need, we need, I guess, uh, should we use inserter or stack inserter? Let's use stack inserters. We haven't used them yet and I kind of want to try them out to see whether they will be enough for what we need. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And if needed, we can add a couple more inserters, right? So it's not really a problem. All right, let's see. One belt. So we have one and a half belts here. That means that one belt should be enough for almost three of this. It should definitely be enough for two. So if we add a thing here, and maybe here, should work. I want to give uh, here input priority to the left, output priority to the right. Here I want it to be the other way around, input priority to the right, output priority to the left. And uh, yeah, this part will just be like this. Easy. What's happening here? Is it working? Or not quite? We are missing a couple of these uh, splitters, but we will get them soonish. Input priority to the sorry, not input, output to the right. We just want to output all of the stuff in here. Output to the left. We want to move uh, ingots closer to the Actually, now that I'm looking at it, we could make it like this uh, inserter, sorry, splitter shouldn't really be needed in my opinion, but we can add it just for the things to look a tiny bit nicer. And nothing there is needed. Right, let's observe. So we have uh, something happening. We are missing only a couple of uh, loaders. This one's. And this should be it. With that, we should be producing a lot, a lot of iron plates right here. We need to change, by the way, uh, the stacks. We need to say that this is uh, copper, right? I. I don't see the grid. Right here is the grid. So I'm to say that this is copper. This is removed. And we want to add copper plates. Because that's what we are actually exporting here. Nice. And these things uh, should also be changed. This is... I mean, it's kind of ores, but it's also plates. I don't know. I don't know. I think we usually call the station plates, right? No, let's call this ores. Let's continue calling this ores. 
And this one is also ours. I hope the planes. No way. The planes broke, right? I knew that's gonna happen. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's lower the speed. So we are interested in trains bringing Cretinium. Most likely. So this one. No, 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 no. No. Hello. We had trains delivering stuff on Cretinium, right? This one. No. Did we lose some trains or not? That's the question that I have. Let's resume the speed. I'd expect some trains to come here. Let's take another look. We don't have alerts yet. We have trains. This one. This one. No. 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 Fine and out. Jotsin. Okay, that's fine. But where is the train with Cretinium? Stay. We had this train that was... Oh, it's a stereotype. And... Yeah, I think we wanted to look at this one. Where is this train? I'm really worried that we'll get some issues somewhere. But I really don't want to end up with... I don't want to end up with a train full of cargo coming here. This would be bad. Alerts, no alerts yet. Trains. This one will be fine. This one will be fine. This one will be fine. That's kind of strange what exactly happened here. We'll uh, take a look. So what exactly is happening with uh, Jules? Okay. We do not have power. That is understandable. So this, the reason we don't have power is because uh, I was upgrading the uh, things here. Okay, this is actually correct. Do we have deliveries? Yeah. Or not? We do have delivery here. Oh, that was the train. No. These are the trains that are a little bit delayed. And this is the one that wants to deliver lots of stuff here. So we have one and we have a second one. 
So everything seems to be in order to be honest. I don't see issues yet, but we might have a huge problem because I renamed the station while the train was uh, doing things. So in theory we could have a contamination, but in this case we'll have an alert here. If we get contamination of by like stereotype or something, we'll get an alert here. Because the way it would happen is that the train could arrive here full of cargo and then when on the next delivery it is asked to go somewhere it will just unload all of this cargo. Things will be like really bad. But uh, maybe... Maybe things are not that bad. That seems off. So we have some deliveries happening here. Honestly this is looking pretty good. This is looking uh, really good. I'm getting copper. Or it is being smelted into ingots. It's being smelted into ingots. And yeah, we are just chewing through the ore. And we are not exporting it here while this is happening because this is. Uh, more efficient, right? We don't have to spend trains on uh, this kind of process, on like moving around the ore. We don't have to spend the trains, which is good. And uh, also, this block that we have, it's just not large enough to uh, meet our copper plate demands, right? Look at this. It, it's what? It's 12. Right of uh, induction furnaces, and here we have uh, 10 times 2, we have 20 induction furnaces right here, just for this build. So we went from 12 furnaces for copper production to 32. This is huge. This part seems to be working. Things are loaded. I'm a bit confused why. Okay, I see. We are missing one loader here. And uh, we actually finished the task that we wrote last time. The task was about scaling our copper production. And now it's, I would say it's scaled. It's in a good enough state for now, at least. I mean, it could probably still be improved a little bit, but uh, I cannot say that this is um, like that. That's like an immediate issue for us anymore. I cannot really say that things are not in as bad of a state as they used to be now. Right, we can place things here, and they would, they might experience some difficulties. To be honest. With biters, but uh, it's okay. That is okay. okay. Let's set this thing here. Maybe. Yeah, just we need to make sure we have a connection. And basically, just pretty much randomly placing some rubber parts in there to make sure that. Uh, to make sure that uh, here. to make sure that we landfill this whole uh, area and the reason why we want to landfill it because we want to continue copying this uh, geo processing uh, builds here we just want more and more and more of them right this thing seems to be working, we are running out of uh, stratite again, again, it's happening again, wait, we, what's going on here, oh, I see, this is what is going on, we are producing <laughs> way way too much ore like look how much ore we got 
But you know, that's good. We will not be shot on our... At least, and... This should reduce our consumption of uh, Cretinium, actually. Because all our Cretinium was just... Gone, immediately gone into this thing. We can kinda actually see the problem here. The problem... I should have uh, looked at this uh, cl more closely. So the problem is that we have a lot of copper ore, right? We have lots of ore. So the fact that we are uh, short on these two materials, it's understandable. Like the main issue is that we are out of, like, we were converting all of, like, both of this into copper. And we had, like, we got eight, right? We have, like, one, two, four, eight, sixteen. Eight hundred thousand. Uh, copper. Uh, we might be able to see it here. Wait. Sorry. 800 stacks. Not 800,000. 800 stacks of ore that we have here. But we are still short on copper plates. And the reason why we are short on copper plates is because uh, this production was not enough. It's just not enough for what we need. Uh, but we built, uh, you know, this one today. It is producing some amount of um, copper. I don't know how much. I think we can probably adjust. We don't really need to, but it wouldn't hurt. I just want to tell this part that they should prioritize the left side and right side, respectively, right? This is how I want it to work, and then... this part should just work. Right, we are a little bit short on stereotide. Because we produce so much uh, copper. So, how do we address this? Do we repurpose one line here to stereotype we could do that right we could basically copy this thing and say that here we actually interested in stereotype let's do it so now we'll have a stereotype being provided by that by these two blocks this is stereotype this is dedicated continuum so we have kind of one-to-one -one ratio to them because we need both stereotype and continuum uh, for copper and one of these builds uh, generates uh, 15 so we have 15 here 15 here we have 30 plus 30 um, we also have 15 here and here which is uh, 45 plus 45 and we require we require 60 plus 60, so we kind of need to get another 15 somewhere and I don't feel like this is given enough. It's given slightly less actually than 15. That's okay, that is okay. That's why we are uh, building um, more of the... Like we are, why we are building another block here. We are doing that in order to scale our ore production. Nice, and look at this, research, it's happening, it's slowly but surely happening. We are 28%, we are short on blue signs, that is uh, expected. Let's take a look at the dashboard. So we don't have copper, but we will build lots of copper. We are a bit short on tin. This is actually surprising. I'm a bit surprised that we are short on tin, because I'd expect tin request stations to have some... Uh, actually, I should be doing it here, I think. Tin. I would expect this station to have some priority, but it doesn't have any priority. We have priority on like output, but we don't have priority on the input. And 
I would say this should be like, getting stuff here is more important than getting stuff here. Because we are producing tin out of it as well. So let's go to the station. Uh, we cannot go from this interface. So we have to manually get here to the input. So the output has priority 10. And what this 10 means, it means that it's uh, it's like tier one kind of thing, but I I am I will base this period as like 10, 20, 30, 40 if I need to to leave some room in between. And the request priority can also be made 10, right? Because this is pretty important. And we have the same block here, which I bet is also missing the request priority. So we gave request priority to this one, and it should have output priority already. It has. Nice. So we have these two blocks with a somewhat higher priority to make sure that we are producing enough uh, tin ore and to make sure that we are using this uh, improved kind of process for ore production. The amount of copper that we are able to produce here when everything is stalled is significantly smaller than what is happening here so it's fine that this part has lower priority even though it's more efficient on transportation because we are not uh, uh, using trains to move this ore, we're just belting it right inside the block. So this should uh, a little bit hopefully improve the situation with pin, but I don't really like it because I have a feeling that this is not enough to actually deal with all the tin that we are getting. I don't know. I do not know. We are having uh, issues with throughput. That is for sure. And look, now we don't have uh, problems with tin. I mean, we can do. We don't have a lot of it, but it's pretty minor. And we are getting uh, our stereotypes. Sorry, retinium demands uh, satisfied. Stereotide, yeah, we're a bit short on stereotide. That, um, that is true. Let's take a look. What if we order them by what is provided requested? So this is the stuff that is provided. We don't really care about it. What is being requested? What are we missing? We are missing... Oh, and it's sorted by the amount. This is nice. So we are missing... Circuits are missing copper. That's okay. So these circuits are also missing copper. These are more important, right? Priority 9. These are less important. That's good. What does status mean? It's like two trains are going here or, or what? Uh, this thing. Yeah, we still have the sled. I don't want to get rid of it, to be honest. So I don't really want to produce the sled. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We are requesting some stereotype here and here. And everything else is uh, just some minor stuff uh, here and there. We could actually... We could change this thing to not show messages, to not show warnings for the main station. Do you want to? No, let's skip the warnings. Because at least this way we can read and see that, okay, we are missing like something. We are missing lead. Okay, this is not useful, but we are missing crushed stratite. That's useful. Crushed continuum. Also useful thing. Cobble still plate. We still don't have cobble still plates. Alright, which maybe we should work on that next. The problem is that it's still pretty far away. Like, get into this cobalt or um, recipe but we will get here like we basically figured out our resources now it's just a matter of waiting for the uh, signs to be produced right and we'll get it at some point because we don't really have huge problems with the base right now yes we are short on copper but that's okay, this is not a huge problem. The station should you know, stabilize, get a little bit better. 
so maybe we should just continue building these blocks. Right, and for cobalt, we need to have these parts done. Right, so let's do the task. We need, uh, is it like tier 3? Uh, cobalt steel, right, we need it. We need to have uh, tier 3 uh, or crystals. And this will be high priority. We also want to add tier 3 gold. Need to figure out exactly what to do with gold. Gold something. We need to have tier 3 titanium something. Right? Is it titanium that we're researching? Or yeah, titanium. Gold. Cobalt. And uranium, but uranium is a separate topic. Uh, we'll need to figure it out. Uh, like, we'll need to think about it properly. What to do with uranium and how to set up everything related to uranium. Right, so. Look, and we are shot on copper, of course. Because we are shot on copper, we do have uh, a tiny bit of <laughs> of uh, science produced. So today we built uh, this awesome block that has uh, produces copper. We basically tripled our copper plate production with this one, almost tripled it. We went from uh, 12 induction furnaces for copper to 32 induction furnaces and this thing usually works well it usually doesn't work but as soon as it gets uh, both cratinium and uh, steratite it works and it produces lots of uh, oh, copper plates and obviously copper uh, ore we also fixed this issue with the uh, cable missing uh, that uh, resulted in us uh, having a lot of things in the storage and like in wood but with wood it's intentional like here it's intentional for refining out i feel it's not intentional i think i have another issue with the refining i feel like we don't have a cable here yes look at this i'm missing a cable so we basically had exactly the same problem that, uh, but it was with the ore uh, build. Right, so let's stop this one. It's, it's just that I don't want to have uh, huge buffers. I want, because huge buffers will be a little bit harder to debug. And I really want to get like proper and fair uh, science per minute numbers later in the game. Maybe now I shouldn't care. You know, it's, it's fine. I want to have buffers a little bit small so that uh, the dashboard uh, works better and not like this. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a pretty good indicator that something is wrong. We, we don't even have it for wood. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. This is looking pretty good, to be honest. And later on we will be able to increase a little bit these buffers to uh, allow like to accommodate for slightly uneven train deliveries when uh, because the way it is set up currently at any moment the station can supply only a single train worth of resources it cannot actually supply two trains in a row which is a bit bad and I probably want to fix it maybe actually sooner rather than later We'll see. We will see. We don't really have this problem uh, right now. We'll be able to see the issue uh, when uh, they happen. Right now I'm just glad that we are getting our copper plate situation under control. It doesn't look like it, but <laughs> trust me, <laughs> it's actually better. It's much, much better than it used to be. Right. 
let's uh, stop here. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Cheers!